there aren't many of the current crop of Welsh international players who haven't received the attentions of Dr Gareth Jones. During the past 20 years, he's been responsible for looking after the age-grade players as they progress toward their full cap goal. People ask me sort of how long it's been. It's been quite a long time. So, yeah, it started with Welsh youth initially. Then I think, if I remember rightly, went on to FIRA and then, then there were the under-18 and under-19 squads uh, for a couple of years, then became under-19 squad, then under-20s. So when you probably start counting the years, it's not far off 20 years, I think. There's a decision I made sort of last year, and in fact there was a, some doubt as to whether I'd come on this trip, but I'd like to stay on, but I don't think that's good for the game in the whole, and I think it's uh, time for uh, other doctors to experience what I've experienced over the last 20 years. It'd be a great loss. I think that's that's the biggest tribute anybody could play. His experience is invaluable, and not only his quality of, of, of service support that he provides in the, in the medical area, uh, but just the, the culture that he brings uh, to the whole environment. Um, he has so much experience. Uh, he's so well respected. He will, as I say, be very very hard to replace. The preparations in terms of health and well-being of players for each and every international match is a rigorous and meticulous process that Gareth has helped to develop. Really, sort of the main thing is to make sure that all the emergency equipment is, is ready and we go through them all, checking the oxygen, defibrillator, spinal board, the, that everything of that sort is in place. And that's primarily the most important thing on match day, really, um, because we don't do a lot of treatment exactly on match day. We'll give some players some massage therapy and really just keep their spirits up as much as anything else. Post-match we have the immediate assessment of anything that really needs doing. Um, clearly suturing, things like that will happen during the game and possibly tidy up after the game. Um, deal with things that, are, uh, that, that cannot wait basically. So, but most things are soft tissue, so usual rice, you know, sort of uh, rest, ice, compression, elevation. Uh, and then we'll probably assess them again uh, when we get back to the hotel. Um, but basically sort of it's soft tissue, general management uh, immediately after the game and on return to the hotel. We talk constantly to these players about a no excuse environment. You know, if they have the great facilities, if they have great support and coaching staff, great medical support staff, then we take all the excuses out of it and then they're left to perform and they're left to be accountable. And I think in Gareth and his support team uh, in medical, they've got that with Pat and with Brian here with the 20s, but also with other age grade squads as well. So it's always about removing the, any obstacles. It's about providing the best service you can possibly do and making the whole environment professional. Literally hundreds of young players have been grateful for the care and attention that they've received. And as his special contribution draws to a close, an appreciation of an ever-improving environment. It's a lot more organised, I think, uh, and I think um, you know the physiotherapy um, has improved no end. And, and Pat Moran, who is now sort of currently head of the physiotherapy department within the academy, has brought a sort of uh, an, an, a new structure, if you like, a structure that the players um, are, are, are very happy with and feel comfortable with. It's very challenging. Um, sports medicine is moving at a pace now that you really got to be on top of it. And it's almost becoming a full-time job. And I can see that within the next five and perhaps ten years, uh, there'll be a full-time um, National Academy sports physician. I think he'd be hard to replace. But I understand that he has had, as you say, 20 years now of, of service to the Welsh Rugby Union and to regional rugby and to international rugby. Uh, and while he will be a loss, he's given other people the chance to do exactly what he's done, hopefully. But we are confident that we've got the people in place around him um, to take, take his place. Um, but I'm not sure we'll ever fully replace Gareth.